Hello, it's Holly with Ivy Cole Creations, and today I am working on a layout just to get it finished. <laughs> so I am using scraps for this. Um, I found that when I am doing my bigger layouts for each of my kids, because that's how I do my albums, I will often have one or two photos left over that I don't want or don't need in their albums because the story has already been told. And so what I've started doing is when I finish with that and I have a photo left over, I will just turn it into an eight and a half by 11 and that will go into my own album. That way I have a little memory of these really cute photos. So this is the legendary collection from Coco Vanilla and I just wanted, uh, to make like this grid pattern and this like I call it a falling grid so I start at the top and kind of work to the bottom either direction it's diagonal and I just knew that I wanted um, to use up these pieces because I have had this since it came out and um, I wanted it to be a little or I wanted to finally use it up so I had the uh, little cut aparts that I decided I was going to use and then I just started placing things. Now I had no real rhyme or reason, I just knew this is what I wanted to go across the page and then I just started fitting things in. And every time I used something I tried to duplicate it on the other side. So I knew that I wanted to use stars and I wanted to use um, arrows. So I ended up just trying to cluster things in a diagonal shape versus three separate clusters. Um, just because of the way that the cut aparts were sitting. So I really loved the way that this turned out. It was so quick and so easy. Um, that's why the video is only a few minutes long because that's how long it took me to do the layout <laughs> 15 minutes um, but I do love the way that it turned out and I decided to um, use my sharpie it's just a regular fine point sharpie um, to create a little stitched border and since I had the stitching around I decided to add add it to the cut aparts as well, just to give it a little bit of a finishing touch. So thank you so much for spending your time with me today. I truly appreciate it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I would love, love, love to hear from you. And if there's anything you would like to see, please let me know, and I would be happy to oblige. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today.